All right, everyone, welcome back. You know how we do? We just go straight to it. So, do we just speak to anyone here? Be cool, Max. Smile and don't say anything stupid. Max Caulfield. Everyone's like, who is this Max Caulfield and where is he? Oh, there I am, along with all the other winners. Yeah, where are the other winners? You would think I it should say artists instead. It shouldn't be like a group thing, not just one person. That's yeah, whatever. Speak to man. Oh, I'm. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Of what? Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. Speak. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. You're not even I'm looking at me as. critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Look at that Congratulations chin. Congratulations for your piece. Look at that chin. <laughs> the crimson chin. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. I know, right? I want to talk to this man. Principal. Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Good. Oh, okay. Champagne? Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. I know it's kind of simple, but... Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. Mm. <laughs> the old timer. You got to challenge him to... How do these galleries afford to rent here? I have no idea. This makes me feel like I was back in high school. Usually these kind of contests, they, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. I always, hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say, Congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. Appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Bad exposure, bad framing, bad picture. I could have done this so much better. Hmm, bad framing, bad shot. God. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. Fucking grunk. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Ah, uh, yet. I'm sorry, am I being too loud? <laughs> I wonder if I can buy... Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Yeah, it was I right, pick. Thank you, Doug. Uh, nothing for me? All right, cool. Oh, shit. Look at that. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Ah, look at this. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, look at is she tweaking out too. Ring her off, idiot. 
Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe! Scared. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Look at this prick. Yeah. I'm thinking we gotta focus on our picture and go back. Yeah, that's no fucking way. Chloe can't die again. Yes, I have to save her. I know you gotta watch her got murdered three times. Or potentially. Yeah, I knew it. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you if you Shut up. Work. Sorry, but Come on. Is that text just going to stay there? Are we stuck? Oh my gosh, we're stuck. Hold on one second. All right, we should be good now. Uh, yeah, we're good. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. As it is, what am I doing? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. I could give a rat's ass about Chloe, to be honest. How did Jefferson get a hold of Max again? Because we know how to... Okay, cool, whatever. Oh, fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Fuck you. I should have said eat shit Good and die. Answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. That 
dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that feeling. It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please. Don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. What? David! Oh, David! And I promise you, Okay, cool. No more nose, please. I keep on pressing. Wait, hold on. Can I Can I please ask you for one last request? Oh. You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Could you please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice treat. Now I'm a little bit crazy. Out of my mind, I'm always like, please, straight in the head. It's all a little bit hazy. But I'm pretty sure you're the stage crew we instead. And I'm a little bit cuckoo. Gaga. Hold it! What? Why did his dumbass say something, bro? And I promise you. Why no did his nose bleeds? Wait, just hold on. Can Shh. I Can I please ask you for one last request? Oh. You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Why did he say something, bro? That was foolproof. And would you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. Why does it slow down at the dialogue? I hate that so much. I don't need to see them talking. And I promise you. <laughs> no more nosebleeds. Just take. Wait, hold on. Can I? Can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. 
How can I deny that face? Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you finally learned from me. All right, cool. Are you serial? I promise this final dose won't hurt. What? What the f David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No! Why did it go oh, why did it go that far back? Oh my gosh. Why are we going this far back? I promise you. No one knows. Why are we going Wait, this Hold on. Can I Can I please ask you for one last That wasn't the last spot. What the oh, fuck, man? You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? That last spot was me da warning David. What do you Oh my Gosh, bro, I'm fucking so one mad last right now. picture of me. I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you finally learned from me. Okay, we get it. Speed up. Okay, cool. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Oh no. Oh, I went too far. <laughs> I went too far. No. Ugh. I'm sorry. It's reflex to press L1 instead of L2. Okay, so timing is important with this one. This final dose won't hurt. Said time for you to shut the. F <laughs> what? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you. No gun, no balls. Jefferson. It's over. You are not going to stop me. Jefferson, it's over. He's hiding a gun over there. It's over. You are not David, going to stop. That me. Table. Yes, sir. You are not going to stop me. Jefferson, it's over. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Now he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson? 
Now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren! Yes! I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit! No signal. You could act... What? Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Oh, you gotta call him because he's like the Polaroid. I thought the Polaroid's on. Okay, I was I about to. I had no idea he was this sick. I better go outside. So gross. I wonder if he charged that duct tape to Blackwell. <sighs> Scumbag. Maybe it was good Dave all along. Madison is on the case. He's still looking for evidence. Oh, God. David. Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. You kind of suspected everybody. Yes, and this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescotts. I set my sights too wide. Lack of focus. I know the feeling. I guess I looked just as suspicious when you told Principal Wells that I was harassing Kate Marsh. And I don't blame you. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it, but he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret, but I have to admit I'm impressed by you and Chloe and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. We... We are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Who kept all those files? I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. And I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? We gotta tell the truth. David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. 
Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you yes, right I, in front of me? I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter? David, wait! I should have known that would happen. I don't really care. Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. Yeah, I did. David, I... thank you for saving me. Expensive gear just for sick bullshit. Hey man. Hey. What was either life in prison or just fucking get murked? Oh shit, I gotta end the part. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'll end it off on a cliffhanger, don't worry about it. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find Warren. Yes! Warren, can you hear me? <gasps> Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. <laughs> Limbo have been warning you people for years that our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those taxes for? <laughs> what do I pay all those taxes for? Damn straight. <laughs> damn straight.
No, we're ending the part here. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.